Hey everybody, today I'll be showing you how to deinterlace a video using JES deinterlacer for Mac. I have deinterlacing -inter problems with when I capture video game footage, mostly Modern Warfare 2, so I'll show you a sample of a video that I'm going to be using to deinterlace. And right here you can see the lines, the interlaced lines, like when he fires right there. And when he turns a corner, you can see the lines. So that was just a sample of what it looks like, the interlacing. And now we will get into JESD Interlacer. This program is only for Macs. And as of now, I don't know of any PC programs like it because I don't have a PC. But I can definitely look into it and I can put it into the description. I can put the download link into the description to as well. Okay, so here's the input. This is where you choose the file you want to deinterlace. So I will choose the file I just showed you. And as for this, I have just default settings for the input tab. Then on project, I go to deinterlace. I haven't used any of these other ones yet because deinterlacing is the only one I usually use. And I found for Modern Warfare 2 videos and video game footage, using the top field is the choice I use. I've tried the other ones and they just kind of, they don't flow as good, but using the top field selection works really good. And you can also experiment. You can press the question mark um, button right here and this will explain everything to you about when you'd want to use the both fields tab or the blend fields tab and so on. And I also use check all three of these boxes adaptive local and filter chroma and normal height box check too color I don't mess around with and the output tab I have all the settings default and when I export it I have it as a quick time movie and for the put right here you can just save as save where you want want it to go and rename the file and so on so I'll just have it named as Modern Warfare 2 1 2 Project. Okay, and once you've gone through all these steps, you can press OK, and then it will start processing it and converting it. And you can just let it go. Depending on your computer and how fast it is, it and how big the file is, it can take anywhere from 10 seconds to uh, half an hour I'm guessing because there's some files that are pretty big that I've tried and it's taken quite a while so I don't think this one takes too long maybe a couple minutes but as you can probably hear in a little bit my computer gets pretty loud from it from a converting so I'll just let it go and convert Okay, so it looks like it's done. And here's the new file. So as it plays, you can see it motion's a lot smoother. And right here, when he fires, you can't see any interlacing lines. So that's nice. And when he rounds the corners or fires a shot, you can't see any. See any of the lines. So it looks like it's pretty good. And also, I don't have the best capture card capture using S video and I don't have an HD PVR yet but I think it looks pretty good the way it is and I don't I can't really see too many interlacing lines so I think it does a pretty good job and you guys can leave a comment and I can also help you out if you want and I can help you find PC users I can help you find one if you'd like and or if you'd like more tips on my settings or like if you want a capture card video and so on just comment or send me a message thanks guys